All right, we have some very special people that need healing today. And I'm going to do my best to help that happen. And healing to me means, <clears throat> in this context with distance healing, means that we um, we amplify the non-physical support systems for the physical. We actually want physical healing, but um, to do physical healing, we sort of have to heal with steel, right? Um, even giving medications is still just interacting with the life forces. Uh, so surgery is about the only really physical intervention that's actually physical. Um, if we're get, getting drugs or medications or even foods, we're putting things into the body that stimulate the body's ability to, you know, do stuff. And with distance healing, we're not giving substances and we're not in the presence of um, the life force of our distance healing. Now, if you are in the, sorry, this is jumping around. Um, if you are in the physical presence of somebody who needs healing, I recommend that you put your hands on them while we do this, okay? Or that you hold something that belongs to them or that some of their hair or a picture of them so that you can be physically connected so that your life force is connected to something that physically represents them, okay? I'm going to, what am I going to do? I'm gonna hold my keys today, all right? And um, this is gonna represent all the people that wanna be healed. And so there's gonna be a, even though I'm symbolizing it and representing it, I'm also uh, pretending. So I'm using my imagination. And really what happens spiritually and astrally um, it's the same whether you're imagining it or you're um, you're experiencing it through your senses. So I'm experiencing these I'm experiencing these keys through my um, senses, but I am uh, pretending like they are a representation that they are every all the people and pets on the list and who will put themselves on the list later. And so it sort of hacks some of the filters that I have in my body mind that make me feel like I'm separate from you guys, all right? Because, yeah, in some ways we're very separate. That's why we call it remote healing, distance healing. But in another way, we're actually very connected. And um, the realm of the astral, the realm of the spiritual is beyond um, space, okay? Six minutes later, I'm ready to begin. So we all, so we already began, right? We already gave the teaching on this, um, on the, on holding something. And if you can just hold your actual loved one because you're in the same room with them, that would be wonderful. That's called the laying on of hands. And I take laying on of hands very literally. It means hands laying on a body, on someone else's body. It doesn't work so well on your own, usually. There's not, there's no rules to any of this stuff, but there are. There are trends. Okay, so now I want to talk to you a little bit about cording. Cording is something that's been around the energy medicine world for ever, but it's the lingo, I don't know, I used it 30 years ago, where you're sort of attached to somebody and it's not in a great way, where you're sucking from them or they're sucking from you and it's not a clear, you don't have clear boundaries energetic boundaries. You might have clear other boundaries, but you don't have clear energetic boundaries. And it's like your life force is being sucked from you or you're sucking from somebody else. And it comes from a feeling of scarcity. Like you actually have everything you need from here. Actually, we as human beings, we have access to all things spiritual and all things physical, you know, and it's just the pathways through that we need guidance for. Um, so we don't really need this direct energy from other people and they don't need it from us. So um, when we do this distance healing, I'd like us all to surround ourselves with a spinning tube of light. 
And what this spinning tube of light is going to do is going to actually chop, 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 chop all the cords that we have where we're sucking at people and they're sucking at us. And you say, but, 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 but don't I need, you know, such my employer? Don't I, don't my children need me? And I would say not energetically, not in this way. And I know it's, it's, it's learning what I mean by this. Um, it's language. But I'd like you to pretend that everybody has access to, at some level, they have access to any idea they need, which I would call spiritual, any blessing, any sense of grace. And because we're human, we're not interdimensional Martians or something else. We have access to food, clothing, shelter, um, gravity. We have, we, we have the apparatus to um, connect with things of the earth. And then it's just a matter of rendezvousing with it. But we, there's sort of like too much to consume or even experience of the physical earth for one person. So for all intents and purposes, it's infinite. And the same thing with every thought that was ever thought by any person at any time, space, dimension. Blah. The spiritual resources are basically infinite. So that means we have enough, right? And I'd like you to imagine that you have this tube of spinning light around you and you are connected vertically. You're vertically aligned, okay? And this is sort of what makes us human, right? We're upright, we're not dogs and or cats or, or things on all fours. We're vertically, aligned, we're vertically aligned in our human posture, at least in our healthy human posture. Some of us might be bent, but um, okay, good. So just do that right now and imagine a spoon, spinning tube of light. Now the spinning tube of light is protective, so nobody can get in that doesn't belong. And it will help you remember and energetically realize that you have enough. You don't need to suck at people. Another way to call that is codependence. So some of you are familiar with that whole literature and that whole idea. This is the energy medicine um, version of all that. Um, it's basically how to use an, a very clear image of, to, be de so, to help you be detached. Now, however, we are connected to each other, right? We, we, we live in community. So from inside this ball of, not this ball, but this tube of light that we're standing in, um, and it's spinning around us, okay? I'd like you to imagine that you can feel grateful for either all the people and the pets on the list that I'm going to read in a few minutes, or your special person, or both. And I'd like you to send love with no strings attached, no cords, just be grateful that we have the honor and privilege to know them and to help them. Good. All right, good. Now, if you've been around me a little bit, I do spinning meditations. And there's so many things to do with your spinner. And this is just one of them, which is to stand inside it and be vertically aligned and be detached. You have enough. Anything you don't need, you can let into the earth. Anything, any ideas you don't need, you can let into the sky. You don't need others to do that for you, okay? Your job is to celebrate them and to be a clear channel for creating what you want in your life. All right. Now, if you know um, rapid image cycling, you can certainly put images of positive outcomes of future events inside your spinner. But if you don't know that, that's just fine. Just spin it and be vertically aligned. And what that does is that allows us to heal by resonance rather than blasting people with our energy, which is not as strong and powerful as universal energy. The energy of the earth, the energy of all spirituality is actually po more powerful than mine and yours. I promise. It's just that's how it is. So um, we can help the people that we're going to help by resonating with our connection. And that will help them resonate and respond to their personal connection. And I would suggest that that's one of the mechanisms of this, how this works. 
Now I'm going to, in a few minutes, I'm going to lead us in a guided visualization and I'm going to recommend different ways to enhance the resonance not only inside yourself with your vertical alignment, but with each other. And if you want to, if you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. It really helps the work. And um, join us over on Facebook, uh, Spirit Gate Cancer Support Facebook group if you want to be participate in the actual um, healing session. Okay, so this is just the teaching portion. All right, let's do it. Let's.